Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Forex Technical Market Update for September 3rd, 2015. And uh, in this in this episode we're going to speak about uh, fear and boldness. Because when it comes to investing, fear definitely and when it comes to trading, especially fear does come into play and fear has a role in the psyche of an investor so we're going to briefly speak about about that but first let's take a look at what's happening in the euro prices are unchanged on the morning as of this recording we are we are in a, a period of the market came tried to break out came right back into the consolidation the consolidation zone for for the euro so we're a bit we're a bit uh, unchanged on on the day so far taking a look at the us dollar index market found support down at this 93 level and is bouncing now the key area to look is up at 98 for this dollar rally to continue we have to close above 98 and then if we do that ultimately we could get a retest of this a hundred dollar level on the us dollar index uh, taking a look at the the british pound we see that the market is down slightly on on the morning uh, the the downtrend in the pound continues the market is breaking the market broke below critical support now that is 153.44 level and the next era of critical support is at 151.71. That's about 110 pips uh, below where we are right now on the British pound. Australian dollar continues its move lower. This has been a market that has trended fairly well. The market is down at 69.99. Hasn't made a new low for the week, but it's it's down on the day. Canadian dollar unchanged, USD versus Canadian dollar unchanged. Market still remains above critical uh, support at, at 130. Now, looking at the gold market, we see that gold is is down on the day. And we could, we could eventually challenge this 1080 level if the market can break below 1120. So if the market can break below 1120, uh, we could see a a return to this 1080 low on the gold market. Looking at the euro versus the Japanese yen, we see that the market is down slightly, ever so slightly on the morning uh, at 134.91. Uh, critical support is down at this 133. This 133. 31 high or low sorry 133.31 is critical support and the market could eventually get back down to that level on the euro versus the japanese yen but let me let me get into this whole idea of investor fear and fear is very it's the enemy of good trading because there are investor traders out there that will have very good trading plans they will have very good a very good trading system and when it comes to executing that trading system they become fearful of the market and freeze up either they 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 don't stick with their plan so they may be in a trade they may take off that trade as soon as they see a slight profit or they may not take a trade at all and sticking to a plan is one of the attributes of uh, uh, if you're not sticking to a plan that demonstrates that you're still fearful of, of of the markets and i can tell you trading a lot of trading has to do with your mental game and trader psychology the reason why a lot of traders cannot make any money is not because of poor systems necessarily because there are traders out there with good systems it's that it's that they are fearful and they cannot execute they, they cannot execute on their trades to become a successful trader you have to be able to overcome your fears and be 
bold. You have to, have to, have to be bold. It's vitally important. And uh, being bold does not mean risking too much per trade. That's not being bold. Being bold is sticking with your trading plan. So if you if you decide if you decided at the beginning of the year that listen i'm going to learn this forex market uh, you have to continue and follow through with it in any endeavor that you do you'll have hiccups there will be up times and there will be down times you have to just you just have to see through it stick with your plan and continue and that's how you get success not only in trading but in just about any aspect of of your life so you have to be you have to overcome that demon of fear it's 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 out there and what it will do is that it will take money away from you okay so if you would like and and the markets right now are setting up for some very good moves i believe towards the end of the year which the markets get very active towards the end of the year so if you'd like to if you'd like to take advantage of those moves you need to get a plan and the the, the forex signals that we have is is a very good plan because what you'll do is copy our trades so to get more information click on the link below to get to the signals and as to, to have success with the signals you have to follow through if you are just if you sign up for the signals and then decide to jump out after one month that is not being bold that is that is not sticking with a plan get the plan stick with the plan because we have a good trading system going here but if you do not follow through with it and you want to jump out after two weeks three weeks a month that is definitely not sticking with your plan and that is not that will not achieve your goals so to get some more information about the signals click on the link below and the markets are still just remember tomorrow we have the non-farm payrolls report uh coming out okay and we should see some volatility okay thank you very much for listening and uh, i hope you have a wonderful day